To get started then with numerical differentiation, the first thing we can do is just look at the de uh, definition of the derivative that we got in calculus. Uh, this is the difference uh, quotient definition of the derivatives. It says f uh, prime of x is equal to, or is defined as, uh, the limit as delta x goes to zero of f of x plus delta x minus f of x all over delta x. Now you may say, well, what happens if, if delta x is not zero if it's some finite value and we can answer that question by going to the Taylor series uh, but before we get going let me just uh, make clear uh, what we're gonna have here so this is just a number line and let's say the point some point that we care about is let's call that point x uh, x sub i and then uh, a point ahead of it we'll call that x i plus one and then some point behind it we'll call x i minus one and this derivation is for equally spaced data and so that will require that x i minus one and x i plus one uh, are the same distance from x i anyway so so doing that we can get right in then look at the Taylor series so this is the generic formula for the Taylor series uh, we cover this in unit one f of x is equal to f of a plus f prime of a over one factorial times x minus a plus f double prime of a over two factorial times x minus a squared plus f triple prime of a over three factorial times x minus a cubed and so forth. Now uh, recall then though that f of x, so this is f evaluated at any point, that's going to give us, because we're going to, to get uh, some function that will give us x evaluated at any point, um, and we're expanding it about the point a. So a is the known point and x is the unknown point that we're trying to figure out. And, and so then uh, this, is, this is the approximation and, and you see the higher order derivative terms. We've got a first derivative, a second derivative, third derivative, and so forth. So uh, we can write this, so we just let, uh, let, um, let the, the x that we want to know, uh, x equal uh, x i minus one, and then uh, a equal uh, x i and we just plug that in then and that's where we get this formula from right f x i minus one then is equal to f of x i plus f f prime at x i over one factorial x i minus one minus x i plus f double prime x i over two factorial and so forth okay now uh, what we can do is continue writing things out well the 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 first thing though is we'll define h as x i minus x i minus one so that is just uh, this distance here we'll call that h and uh, again so this is the the, the backward difference we're only going to need x i minus one and x i to to do this approximation and uh, we're going to plug in then um, for x i minus one uh, x i minus h and you can see that from here uh, just, just rearranging this so x i minus 1 is equal to x i minus h and that'll let us um, represent this in terms of h in terms of the distance here okay so um, it, you might also call that h um, uh, a delta x okay so we say f of x i minus 1 is equal to f of x i f prime x i over over one factorial times h, f double prime x i over two factorial times h squared, f triple prime three vector h cubed, and so forth. So you get the idea. Um, then what we're going to do? Let's move down here a little bit. What we're going to do then is take this term. Uh, we want to find the derivative, and so we're going to take this term, the derivative term, and we're going to take it to the other side of the equation. And then we'll just take this term and we'll move it back to this side of the equation and so in doing that then we get uh, and this already had a sub minus sign in front of it so we just move it over but then we have to we have to get rid of this h so we just say then f prime of x i is equal to one over h times f of x i minus f of x i minus one plus f double prime x i and so forth so we have all these terms in here so then f prime at xi is equal to 1 over h times f of xi minus 1 over h f of xi minus 1. Now we have all these terms here 
These are our second and third derivative terms. Now we can just throw those away. Uh, this keeps going um, and, and we just throw those away. Now uh, when we throw them away we we incur error and so we'll, we'll have some error by doing that and but um, but that's where it's an approximation then. Uh, so when we do that we get f prime at xi equals f of xi minus f xi minus 1 over h plus this error on the order h and you can see uh, the order h that's the largest the largest term there so we have error order h and then we get f prime at xi is equal to f of xi minus f of xi minus h because we're, we're just substituting our, our derivative uh, or excuse me our, our xi minus h back in for xi minus 1 and that's what we have here all over h and if you notice this is the backward difference method where we just say h equals delta x we could have we could have used uh, we could have used delta x instead but that is then the backward different backward difference uh, derivative now we can do the forward difference derivative in the very same way so let's let's go to here okay uh, the forward difference is is just the same except instead of plugging in uh, to our original equation remember we plugged in the x we wanted to know we plugged in x i minus one we could just then plug in f x i uh, plus one instead of x i minus one and the the derivation continues the same way uh, we write it all out we take this term uh, to the other side and we take then this term uh, to this side yes right there uh, we rearrange it we throw away the higher order terms we incur this error and we get our oops excuse me and then we get our approximation to the derivative we can compare those uh, to our, our definition of the derivative that we had uh, before and we see that it's just uh, exactly the same exactly the same thing f prime of xi um, is limited as delta x goes to zero so we don't have this limit term here but this term here um, right here is exactly the same then as this term here so 